Good morning, family. Good morning. Good morning. This is your inspirational word for the day. But I'm going to say it's going to be for the last three days. Amen. Because I have been under the weather. So as I woke up this morning, I had to give God the glory. Yes. And I thank him. I thank him for being the head of my life at this point of time, all the time, every day, all day. And, and I just want to thank God. But I want to give you a word for the day. Your word for the day is going to be reset. However, this is going to be a long video. So if you do not catch this video, my my um, blood family, then please go to my YouTube. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube, shame on you. Hallelujah. Shame on you. But you subscribe to Chatting with Shelly at, uh, on YouTube. And, and I, I promise you, you will not you will not uh, regret your decision. But anyway, your, your, your word for today is the reset. So as, as God started to, um, to work on me, and y'all know my journey, and y'all know my story, and, and he worked on that chapter of my life. So as I began to move forward and go forward into plans and to things that was happening in my life, and I know you can, you can relate to what I'm saying, when you start to move and, and do things, back going back to way that you said to do it and you wanted to do it and now what god said to do see and and what the doctors told me to do was i wasn't supposed to be working only part time but i was working full time eight nine ten sometime 11 hours a day seven days a week and that's not what the doctor said and that wasn't what god said so god said to reset god said i needed to reset so what happened was he slowed me down and and, and as i got sick on monday on sunday night as i got sick I started saying, what is wrong with me? And and I said, I'm going to still give God the glory. I, I called my friend and, and he couldn't come and get me because he lived so far and, and my heart was palpitating and my brain, everything was going on. And then and I was sweating and my eye was bloodshot red and my arm had become numb. So I called my neighbor and she said, you know, I think that you need to call 911 just in case. Oh, come on, come on, Holy Ghost. Oh, you need to call 911 because I don't want nothing to happen in the car. So I died now. 911 and I couldn't really get to the phone because after she said what she said I dropped the phone on the bed my arm was so numb I said Siri down 911 come on reset he he, he, he he came towards me and he, he said go ahead on and tell Siri to down 911 and Siri down 911 so I sat on the end of, of, of the, the step and I scooted down slowly down each step because my chest, it was just shock pains going across my chest. So as the ambulance came and they started asking me questions, I was telling them all about my journey and all about my life the whole way to the hospital. I could hear God say reset in the back of my mind. So as I got to the hospital and I went in and most of the nurses know me because I've been there so many times this year. So as I went in and I was, I was placed into and they were working on me and putting IVs in me and I started to weep and and the nurse nurse Lily said well Miss Ho what is wrong and, and as I continued to weep God was saying reset as I continued to weep she said what's wrong I said you know every time in this journey of my life I've always had 9 10 15 sometimes 20 people with me outside taking turns to come in to pray with me and see me and this time I had no one uh, codependency I had no one I had no one. I, I, I sat there and I cried codependency because I was scared and, and I was scared. And, and, you know, God said reset. So what I'm telling you right now today is God said reset your life. Reset your goals. Reset your journey. Reset your perseverance. Because, see, I had to reset. Because, see, I was going and doing things that Charlie was used to doing. I won't use in my, 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 my intuitions. And, and I won't speak into people in, in, in my intuitions. And most of y'all know me and you know my story and you know my journey. So, you know, if something is wrong with you, I'll text you. I'll call you and say, what's going on? Ah, ah. And you'll say, how do you know? Because I know. Because that's what God put me here for. I'm a prophet. So, God said reset. So, as they continued to work on me and, and, my, and they said that my my port was clogged up god said reset so he had to reset me oh come on come on oh come on holy 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 spirit come on he said reset so last night as i did my youtube and i still won't feel in 100 and I said, I'm still pushing and make it go because the anesthesia made me sleep it for a few days. I'm not, I've been sleeping off and on and just tired because I was, my mind just won't right. So as I was on there doing my YouTube last night, my lights went out. 
which means my computer went out. I said, oh my goodness. So I could not continue my YouTube. My lights, it was pitch black in the house. I'm on five minutes, but I still want you to come on, reset with me. So, so, so I, I was focusing on continuing my YouTube. So I looked at my cell phones and both of them, the, both of them, the, 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 the low level of battery. Mm. So God said, reset. This is the time for you to reset to what I told you to do, daughter. This is the time that you're going to reset. You're going to be a warrior. You're going to be the judge. You're going to be mighty and highly and powerful. Because this month, you are going to be reset. Because on August the 25th, you're going to be crowned as a queen just like Esther. You're going to be reset. Oh, God has reset me. Oh. Oh, Lord, he had to reset me because, see, I was doing things back to the way it was supposed to be that I thought it was supposed to be. But it wasn't supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be the way that God said it's supposed to be. So let me just say that what I have to say to you is you reset your mind and focus on your goals. I thank everybody that text me a prayer. Thank everybody that called and prayed with me. Thank everybody that text me, worried about me. Thank everybody that, that just reached out to me. And, and you know, I got to thank this special person because I talked to my spiritual sister yesterday and I was laying on the sofa. I won't, still won't feel 100, but I knew I had to do this podcast because that's what God tells me to do. So I was talking to my spiritual sister, Tracy Ruffin, and, and, she, and she said something to me that, that kind of got in my head. And she said, Shelly, you know, you have to isolate yourself to elevate and elevate yourself for transformation. Hmm. And I thought about that thing. I said, ooh, I said, you know, I always tell my clients, isolation is elevation. She said, yeah, isolation is elevation and elevation is transformation. Come on, reset. I want you to reset yourself. I'm sorry that this video is so long and a lot of you ain't gonna get it, but you jump on my YouTube and I promise you, you'll get it there. I just wanna tell you, you reset. That's your word for today. Reset your mind. Don't let nobody get in your head. Uh, Cause you know, I was I was doing what, what Shelly always did. Mm, and that was hustling. <laughs> it was hustling. Mm, Cause that's what I like to do. I, I, I love to, to to hustle and I love to work and I love to move and I love to do things that I used to do. I can't do those things no more. So I'm resetting. I'm resetting and I thank you for giving me eight minutes of your time on this Wednesday. Hallelujah. This hump day. I thank you for giving me eight minutes. But I want you to reset and set your goals and know that God is prosperous and I promise you if you reset your mind and stop doing things the way that you always done it and run towards the healing and the mark of what God is trying to do for you, you will be reset and it will be fantabulous. Y'all have a great day. And you know what I say, don't you let nobody steal your joy today.